Surviving storms. Surviving storms. Surviving storms. Our homes are flattened. Our buildings roofless. Our water pipes smashed and road infrastructure destroyed. Our hospital is without power and schools have disappeared beneath the rubble. Our crops are uprooted. Where there was green, there is now only dust and dirt. The desolation is beyond imagination. Esther James, born and raised in Nubia. Moved to different, a few villages, but back to my original land, village of my birth. Okay, okay. So you lived in Nubia all your life? Particularly all my life. You were just a few years old and then back there. It's around three, ten years, basically twelve years old of Nubia, and then I back in Nubia. Oh, it has since before Erica has been there and I never live. I live moved to different places in Nubia, mm -hmm. up there after Maria and then down there. So I have been in Nubia for oh, okay. the time. Okay. Uh, Nubia is my born and raised place. Okay. Yes. I describe myself as a hustler. You know, that is a better way to give me all around there. I clean for people. I do my barbecue by the road on a Friday. I do cocoa sticks, susan. I do ice pop. I do guava jam and rosemary. And I'm a seamstress by profession. But when it's slow, you have to always have something else to do around. I was raised basically with my grandmother. Grandmother, big sister, because we were living close. My mother went to Guadeloupe and my dad was more living on his own. A certain age, about maybe 12, 11, 12, my dad took us to live with him down in Citronia. And being his baby, out of the seven of us, I was like this boy old, you know? Of Hurricane David back then? Why? Is, that is why I get to Fred Maria, Hurricane David. Mm -hmm. Yes. We were living, you see, by the bridge there where we were living? By the bridge there, the first bridge was there. Mm -hmm. There we were yeah. living for Maria. It was nice, you know, because my mother's house was there. It was just a two room house. Mm -hmm. And our kitchen was at the front outside. And my grandmother's house was there. And we had a big mango tree by the road. They used to call it Mango Helen, that is spider model. Mm. Because the, all there was their land. Okay. Uh, and then the mango tree. While we there, the sea gets so rough. First time I ever see that sea rough, you know. The sea gets so rough, and they used to have a lot of your type when I was growing up. I can remember on this sea. Mm. And I can never forget that it had some people, a couple on the yacht. And we, they were in them, we telling them, come out in this city, she getting rough. And the river going down. And they wasn't thinking us, so they were just waving us. Mm -hmm. So, the sea started to get so rough, rough. I don't know if you take out the anchor of yeah, the boat, we start to see the boat through. So then they start to scream, my brother, help my bigger brother. He that there with us, eh? So we're afraid now, we cannot let our brother go. We tell him, our brother, don't go at the boy. Not to go, not to go, not to go. Why? River start to come down. Start to go down. We never, you know that we see, we have to close the door. And I don't know what happened to that yacht. I think, I think they say they get pieces of it under the cliff. And mm. when they were building the cliff, well, then also in church, they had get some bones under there. So I don't know what really happened of them. But that alone mm. I can remember of this thing that make me mm. afraid of hurricane. And then my, the mango hell in now, it fall on my grandmother's house. So my grandmother's house was the biggest house. So it separate, blocked the door, it separated them. So my big brother now we had to pass out the back of the house, burst the bedroom door, and there's a long time they took close their house. It's two wooden doors they used to have and a piece of stick. 
seeing it across to close it. So my brother thing is at the back as branches and he take my he take us out and that big house that in the bus stop and you go in the way see the most accounting house mm -hmm. that year he raised all his children he had a furniture place downstairs coffin he still contain coffin and then my he take us and he bring all of us there. My sisters and them in our little house and my brothers and my grandmother. My grandmother was watching us. Had her daughter children much as her daughter was either in body or matic. And they bring all of us on Mr. Fountain place and sleep and my grandmother they had a long table like that. My grandmother take all of us and put us all around the table and on the chair we sleep resting on the table. So mm. And still, like, I remember like, the first thing they give us was still out. I can never forget that. They give us still out, they could fill out, they give it to us. And then my brother, I don't know where he sleeps to me. I cannot remember seeing him. Every time I just think of that, I say, like, my brother was never there, so I can't remember where he was. But next day he comes, by that time everything stopped with their watching. Coconut, coconut, flood the area, all by the bay, coconut, flood the area. And then he tell us not to go nowhere. Not to go nowhere, stay there. So, all I know when my brother come back, my brother bring one tall bag of sugar. And then we start to cut coconut by the bear and we're making tablets in big pots. So we are making tablets, making tablets by the bear. Coconut work that David bring for us. Eh? We make tablets. Those furniture people used to come down and wash in the river. We used to trouble them. That is our river. Don't come there and wash. Go lower down. No children trouble some there. And so on. And from things that time, I prayed hurricane, you know. Mm -hmm. From things that time, I prayed hurricane. And you were how many years old then? David? Hurricane, mm -hmm. David, mm -hmm. I was t 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I see I experienced David and I experienced Maria. And even before Maria, we had this storm, you know, this Erica. And this storm affected more my sister, you know, down by the bridge. The, the river did not burst, but the river overflowed the bridge. And it came by my sister, flood the house, and look at the leaving. The river was running in the road. And we had to stay in my sister's yard and wash her clothes. When the water stopped there, that was in front of the church, we go lower down because they had two a house. Two houses, and she was downstairs, and an elderly lady was living downstairs. She was mental, and a man was living upstairs. We just take everything from the channel, everything, and go. You can see the city big all that day between those two buildings after the church on the other side. So there we were washing all clothes, all clothes. We were washing the daily river, was paying for my sister, all that thing, you know, all that we could wash. We were washing, and then the camera people come, and they, they interview me. And I tell them what it was it. I say, to be Maria, every time I do Chamata, you like Maria because I don't know if because I talk to them and whatsoever. So you let it out. But uh, Maria was the worst man. Maria was the worst. Maria came on the 18th and the 19th was my birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we sheltered the hurricane there. Um, those people had to pass in my yard, you know, to go because they could not pass in the river. The two rivers had make one, so you have to pass through. And because I did teaching in Central School for years, I was um, the cook there for many years at the kitchen. I was the bread depot clerk for many years. And then I was doing sewing with them, with the children. So most of the children there know me as Miss James when they pass it down from Michelle. Miss James, what happened to you? Miss James, I tell them, I okay, we. It's just that after Mary, I couldn't work because the food soaking water so long. So I could do sit down outside. 
But I all right. I tell him it's my birthday, you know. So I stop the hurricane. I tell the hurricane, not on my birthday. And so on. They said, okay, well, Miss Jones, we'll see you when we come in back. And then my boys and never said, what's over protective day? Then you cannot go there. Don't want to watch. No, your mommy, big stone. You will hurt your foot. This and that and that. So, and after Maria had a little storm. And they are only not there because my boys and then all those, my those people that are with me and my boys and then they go. And I call him my brother because they don't believe in hurricane. Mm. I tell him them every time things are young, I tell them not to trust hurricane, hurricane bad, hurricane harder, you're on the sea, kill those people. Look that hurricane do, hurricane break everybody house. They telling me they don't raise the hurricane. And every time they say hurricane, they tell him, always telling me that. Always telling me they do don't worry, they don't have hurricane. When Maria came, we was in the house by the chapel, mm -hmm. the Catholic church down there, I live in, as been behind them. I telling them a hurricane come, they telling me not to worry. Her. But by that time, I pack long time, you know. I pack my little bag, put passport, all of them passport in it, pictures I want to save, money I have, and I pack the bag, they say, go here. In the house, in the resource center, I telling them that, mommy, not to worry. I say, boy, hurricane. Mommy, every time they say hurricane. So my friend decided and he come and he said, I come in by all year six, five thirty, six o'clock. So I say, okay. So two big adults in the house, I feel uncomfortable. And I say, okay. He said, I bring bread for three first to fry. He say, all right. I forget to avoid Maria, you know, because I have a company there beside my two boys. When the light went about, when the light went about 6.30, 6.30, quarter to 7, something so delighted. He's then I go in and fry the, plat, the bread for the bring there. He said, we have to go here. So he have his laptop as he has going to college. And he said, I'll check it for you, Esther. Um, I said, okay. But a good thing, I always believe in transistor radio. You see, I just um, forget the old mm -hmm. um. So don't matter how they get technology, all their punch button radio and TV and DVD. I always have my transistor radio, always. So I take the transistor radio and I put it, I always have a shelf above my stove, I put it on the shelf above the stove and I there listening to the thing and I fry in. Those people there don't worry me, you know, the man and the, and my two boys move there, they're watching on the thing, you know, I hear the radio saying, um, what is the high storm they say, when the storm reach 160? Oh, it go up rapid. It go up rapid. I got one sixty. They say whatsoever. And I just come out from the kitchen and I tell him, name, boy, Royal Timber, you don't hear that? Um, one sixty miles per hour. He there what? Cross it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And we leave and we run go. And that was it. We, that time every year was that that that. All I know, I had a big the cement plastic on the machine. I just take it and I wrap me. Of the next house was just in front of us. I was just around 20 steps straight. If somebody that walking fast or with that, maybe me will be crazy. And there we had time Richard, the house in front of us there. I don't see where the plastic go. When the plastic come out, nothing. I don't know nothing about that. All we know is there we could reach. It was too dark and it was too windy, too strong. We couldn't go nothing. So we stayed there by those people. And then my boys and them come and by water wind water then water start to come the river burst first of all we do hear nothing so i telling them let us go and see how outside is they say no you know when adults you know, are more adults you feel more comfortable then it start back again non-stop start back hey, hey. while we there we i think we're taking the scent of the river that that let me say let us go and see how the river is the river scent i take I tell them the river high man, you know that in the scent of the dirt, dirt, dirt. They tell me yes, we and so on. Who tell you? It doesn't have ten minutes since I say that no? the house start to flood with water. Because the man was building that new piece at the back, but he had dig a hole in the wall to run a piece of pipe. And every time I used to I fascinated about what you do in if your hand, you know? And I used to trouble those workers. And I tell any man, you're not running the pipe there again, block the hole. He said, you're too troublesome, it's not your work. I will block it when I'm ready. I tell him, just block it, you'll prevent animal from coming in the house. No, everyday people look in there. Yeah. 
Well, Maria, river get there to come here because the river burst it bank from above greens. It passed behind the church, so it passed where I was living. So it was coming all here, river. And so we had to sleep. The owner of the house was mopping out the water, but that wasn't doing nothing because it's there the river passed. And I tell you, look, so I we had to sit down on the chair and water coming in my foot. And because of my broken leg, I cannot stand up in water too long. It just make it swell and get harder kind of a week. After Maria, it was tough. It was, it was get, it was getting me to a point where I was getting frustrated because like I had money and I couldn't buy nothing. Mm. So, but because maybe I had plenty of people in the house and mostly young boys, they was making me laugh. So it was always had something to do. And that is the thing. So when we get a little chance to go and shop, we used to buy flour because I like to use man, I like to make stuff. So I'd make bread, I'd make little snacks and put there and so on. But as for my barbecue, I could not do that, that which was my main thing because I used to do food, bake, rice, season, spaghetti, all kind of things to sell by the road. And then, because imagine where we were living there, we could not, when I went there after Maria, all I could just do, just watch there mm. and sit down. Mm. I could not do nothing this day. Outside was high, so we did. But as I go in, I watching you know. And happily, that boy, when we enter the yard, all of them run inside the man and my boys, and then they run inside the house. So I the yard, so I watching because the yard flat, so all of a sudden the yard, a boy, your knee length height, so I watching my scene. But where my green, my green not on my mind because it's my money, it's my land. That's the only thing I was doing beside my little sewing and my barbecue. And I say, why? The green have a little head, so out of all the ashes, we, I seen a little thing peeping out, so I still said, I'm calling them, come, come, look, I get my grill, come, come. So usually when you barbecue in the grill open, so I don't know what angel that hit the grill and let the grill fall, so instead, maybe if the grill had fall, so and it had open up, I would not get it. I tell them it's an angel that hit the grill bottom and it let it fall, so. So all the sun just covered the grill, covered the grill, and all what I could see was that while they inside seeing what they get and whatsoever, the river pass all in the house and so on. Mm. I stayed there, I stayed there, I scraped there because they don't believe me. And all the time, me, you can get nothing there. You don't see everything in the yard lost. I don't worry, I scraped, I threw inside the scrape. Mm. And they come out, I scraped all the top of the grill. <laughs> so they do not have a choice than to get it for me. And then, uh, so I started uh, making. Uh, my barbecue back but it was kind of difficult because because you couldn't get chicken after maria when things start to get good we are we left down there because we couldn't go back in the house because it had a a pear tree in front of the house it falls so on the house and the river come by so of the house and the river, God is so good. That is why I just say, I, I survived Maria and I cannot take me, let nothing trouble me. If me and somebody have a problem and I cannot get to the bottom of it, I just forget it. Because I say I could be one of the 10 people that die in Lube. So I just always have that at the front of my head. So I just need one and And so on. So I just always give let that be my motivation, you know. I just always say we have ten left in Obia. I could be one of them. So and God let me survive for a reason. So I just don't let take no nothing to a problem to make it trouble me, you know. I just always say God have me there for a reason and God love me because look at how we let the pear tree fall on the house so 
and he sent three big trees when they measure by the river pass all the plain field mm. and the house was a wooden house you know only the bedroom that was blocked and it sent three big trees and they land behind the wooden house so so the tree it's fall like on the yes, yeah, yeah. the tree fall on the house and mash up the house and the thing even though the wood and them brick but my stuff stay inside of it because I just bought my industrial sewing machine and I bought it back and I was very grateful for that I say at least my life even no matter what come I don't have to spend on that again and for that I just say I always say I'm grateful and I was there for a reason and I just not take nothing for a problem I don't keep nothing after Maria that, that does keep me going no matter what I'm going through I cannot let it trouble me because I could be one of the ten that die in Nubia and I survive it and I doesn't let nothing trouble me. I live in my life day to day with appreciation. It changed, it changed bad, bad, bad. Especially to go up for my water by my auntie. They were so nice. My grandmother used to live up there. It was a joy of us to go up there and go in the river and bathe. My sister had a house on that side. When you enter, when, before you enter the bridge, it had a dirt road there. We call it the former one. When you enter that dirt road, it had three houses on that side of the river. My sister, my cousin, that is a lady who she had a little shop there and her brother higher up. So between her and her brother, we passing there, we going in the river. All by the river, they used to have watercress, liquor, swamp, dash, you know. That's the only three houses that's on that side. All the houses was on that side. It was a fun place to go there. There was nice here. And for you to see how Maria destroyed that, my cousin was building. And my sister was building too. Her friend father used to come down from St. Martin. He every three months and do a piece. He was building her pillars, big so. When I go on her deck, in her deck, in was in the high school. Miss have telling her, nothing going on about you, you pretty that wealthy hmm? maria take all thing and go maria don't even say she live in a foundation for them you know maria mash that up so much maria take the road and my auntie house here and just that here, just a footpath there for you to ping auntie house you know when we come in when i reach the house at two holes so and holy pot so holy pot so I wasn't walking straight like them in the I have a bit of power of pipe and I walking so till I reach the end of the porch and I going inside. And they are deep, 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 feet below. If you go below there, you cannot see. And there I never received so uh, it's from my auntie house and you walk into the river. Uh until when the government start to send the dumper and feed it and they back feed it. And if you see there, anytime for you to go by the river, do you have uh, to go down compared to how there was like even was even the sea coast even when you're going up by the plane field so much all the plane field was flat and nice to go behind the church now for you to walk behind the church you have a hill, hill to climb up and then you're going on the plane field it's just as i tell them who know who be here before i just open up have plenty picture and now it's just a it's just a two different thing because i never believe we would have a hurricane and you cannot walk from that bridge to that bridge. You could not walk from Greens in fact to that bridge there. Because the two rivers had make one. And all transport that was on parking between them, the man by the shop had one, my brother had one, whosoever had one there. You don't see where those transport go. So everybody had to pass behind and come. And we never thought that river would get back so in my life. When we think in and even when you reach that bridge there, there was is there was flat, you know, because we thought they didn't have bridge. They, everything made so much of a chaos because a bus leave for Bangor, and it end up by the river there, you know, by Voice of Light there, you know. And we were washed, sit down in the river washing all when those people carrying their thing. I go because remember after Maria, you don't have clothes, you don't have nothing. We go in the house and I take one two things. And I wash him on my boys' clothes because they don't worry because it's go they go in, so it's made at putting it in the pile and I can embrace by the river for me. And I sit down the river washing and I go to myself because I used to get some dinner and I wash him there, wash him there. Um, 
Everybody was talking to one another. Like to me, it was like no one because like everybody come under the same roof. No matter if you was I was renting, and then that person was had their own house. All of us was in the river together. We would talk, and you know what I had more like about that was for the children. I used to tell my boys and them that is what we were when we were small. That is always to go in the river when we were small. That is how they still light fire and you have plenty of wood and send stone in it and it's sparkling in the eye. Tell them that was our toy. We did not have tablets and we did not have things. You know? Everybody used to come down the river and bathe. And because of my legs, I cannot go climb certain places, you know? So they always used to uh, then we get that tank and they always used to carry water and put in it for me. So then after Mary I didn't have the problem. Right, the other people would go and carry water. God bless I had a house with six men and me alone that's the woman. So for them my job was to stay home. So I think I maybe was one of the happiest person for that year. Because we had two tanks so and then maybe we had five drums. So they always used to go on the van, pull it in, carry spring, and put for me. So all I had to do was stay there and do what I had to do. I have in my mind that Maria break down all barriers of people. People, no matter how high they was thinking, they do not have a choice. I see that because I see even see people that would think before Maria they would not talk to you and you was too low. Everybody was feeling you because. I get people that come and look for me from back, I tell you, you know, and tell me, ah, I hear you very much of God, they're walking down, they're asking me to live in, and they come and say, Esther, I know your leg, you had your bad leg already, I come and see you. So like before, you know, the love, it was nice. It was nice. Even when other people bring things to me and they pass, I'll tell them, look that and that they bring for me, eh? and watch them take something from it, and so on. So, to me, I did not find um, people was high and mighty after Maria. Maybe when things start to go back, because I remember Father say once in church, that if you bad, you was bad a long time. Maria just uncover you, so everybody seeing your badness now. And I just always say that and laugh, you know, because I just say in your subconscious mind, you just say it's true, you know, because as things start to evolve and come back to a little normalcy, you will see the same prejudice things start back happening. We just need to learn to understand. The most important is respect and understand one another view. And then I think we'll have a better food. Ready? Say anytime they say bad weather. My backpack and I run in up that hill. I do stay there. Nobody cannot convince me to stay there for bad weather. They didn't predict Maria was so here and Maria go from this to that, you know. Look at Hurricane David. That is what I just said. Look at Hurricane David. Hurricane David was nice, bright sun. So we never fought Hurricane with the wheels outside playing. We were doing our thing. And then big day, the weather just changed and whatsoever. We, but I tell them, Maria have children, you know. They just tell me, you just have to you. And I say, yes. But Maria children come and look for their mother and see what we do their mother. You never you have to take precaution, eh? So stories, it's good to tell stories in a fun joker way now. Maria put everybody to be people will not stay at their home. I don't think people will stay at their home. I tell people that they will cost to live and so on. I don't think they'll take more precaution. Because even in the time of Maria, my cousin was telling me while they was in the health center. Just put in that pink house there, they see a light there. When the weather cool down, they leave and go and help them, you know. The elderly lady, her daughter and her grandson to come out and bring them in the center. So that is basically the way people they like to help. Once I hear the season come, my bag always back. Well, they not if me now, so they have their passport. I don't have to hold their passport for them. It's my pictures I have to hold for my memories. 
and my passport in my bag. I will tell them I don't need clothes. Once I have a clothes to change, anytime a disaster happens, clothes will clean. But I will surely take precaution. Because if, if it bad, if it happens, before I leave there, if I have to go to a shelter reservoir, I will make sure I have cleaned everything full up with water and leave there my little shopping and little thing. But to tell you the truth, once you see they say the hurricane coming, I will not stay there. I will prepare, I'll put water there and everything there, but I'll not stay there. Either. I will I will surely go. It doesn't need resource center wherever they have been shelter. I'll go at somebody home that's safer but those days everybody building climate resilient, but I'll not stay there. Even when they say the sea rough way, I have my backpack already for me to come out their way. All the neighbors there they tell me, no, you safe, you have a big wall. I tell them, I always hear old people say, you don't trust water and you don't trust fire. There is nothing wrong in calling. There is nothing wrong in calling. But you know the most important thing is getting back up. Because I fall here, I can tell you, I fall here, I fall. When I do get that place in the baby after a whole year, I don't have nothing in the house. Eh? I don't have nothing to carry. The only thing I saved was my two white machines. But all I used to go, I used to say that's my delivery. Whether I do have light or not, I used to carry it with me, just like I carry the brow panty to put on me. And that is what I got clothes. I did not get it so, and so on. And I get back everything in my house here. Eh? I take my this, I take my blender, I take my fridge, I take one by one, I take it by stuff and I take it by buttons and so on. Until I get everything back in my house here. Yeah? You understand? So you just fall. You know, everybody that can take their fall. But you know what that does help you to take their fall? You, to take your fall, the right mentality. Some people will say, what? I work so hard and I don't have nothing and I have to go back and start from scratch. Sometimes it's just sad because I just say I'm getting better. Understand? Yes. I get a better mattress by Astrophan, a better bed. You understand? So I come out from the floor. I was sleeping for almost a year, and then I end up sleeping on a good bed. You understand? I lost, but I pick back up myself. Challenge was a 